Another very common and major mistake that we want to definitely avoid when we practice is to practice mindlessly. That's basically when we do a bunch of repetitions without a high level of concentration or a strategic game plan. One of the reasons a lot of people do this is to try to improve by accumulating maybe a lot of hours of practice and a lot of repetitions. And to be totally fair, mindless practice does have some benefits, but there's plenty of research out there that shows that the positives don't come even close to outweighing the negatives associated with this kind of practice. So yes, maybe you, you could build some speed, you could build some stamina, but that, I'm telling you that's gonna be at the cost of a laundry list of potentially negative outcomes. For example, if you're not concentrating, mistakes are gonna go unnoticed. You could have uneven rhythm, maybe poor tone, accumulation of tension. You may even repeat mistakes that you thought you corrected before. Also, if we don't have a clear strategy for problem solving or improvement when we practice, then we're really not gonna get anywhere. For example, maybe you wanna increase tempo and that's the reason you're engaging in this sort of repetitive mindless practice. But how, how do you wanna do that? Do you wanna create tempo variations? Do you wanna practice with speed bursts? Maybe make a bell curve shape, etc. And then if you run into mistakes, when you increase tempo, are you addressing that? Are you aware of that? And if you are, how are you addressing those mistakes? Right, again, there's a laundry list of problems that are associated with mindless practice. So make sure to never repeat anything without a game plan and make sure to always be highly, highly concentrate, concentrated on what you're doing. Make sure to set clear goals. For example, if you wanna increase tempo, think about how you wanna do that. Do you wanna do that in increments of five to 10 beats per minute? If you make a mistake, do you wanna to try to correct it at tempo? Do you wanna slow down to correct it? So again, make sure that your practice is conscious. It's very mindful and you're gonna get way more progress. For more tips like this, I have a free PDF that I created that's on my website, diawellonsomemusic.com, right at the front, it says download free guide. So download that, and that is a free guide on 10 critical practice mistakes to avoid when you practice, all right? Thank you so much, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.